Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Happy Friday. So the front and rear brake pads are completed. Um, I'm not sure what happened with the previous pads and why it was acting up, uh, but everything's been fine and they seem to be seated correctly. So since the pads have been done, I put about 200 miles on them uh, between Uber and everything else and they're fine. So I'm happy with them. All right, as I promised, we're gonna do the brakes. We have picked up some Bosch. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the front and the rear. I do apologize, I'm very much sick right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at that quarter panel. For the most part, I was actually able to push all of this out. Now, when he originally hit it with the hammer here and then pushing his weight, it actually knocked this panel completely out. So uh, I just go and took the panel off, pushed it out, actually used a uh, large suction cup, and we got it all pulled out. Now there's a dent here still, here, and then the two big dents here from the hammer itself. Uh, so at least when it goes to the body shop, they only have a little bit left to work with. Uh, but the, the interior trim panel is actually back in place. Uh, I have not replaced the back brake pads on this vehicle to, uh, that I have. I did replace the front already. Um, I don't know if I did something wrong. It's just brake pads, but uh, it felt like they were unevenly wearing. Uh, so I don't know if I have bad rotors. I need to look into that a little further. So we'll we'll check it all out today. This is the work in progress uh, trunk uh, layout. Uh, I want to get this trimmed a little more, and then I need to make this piece look better and get around the edge of the tank better. So the brake fluid damage is all right here. all this and then this on the grill itself oh yeah and then on the wiper the caps themselves uh got a little wrecked by it okay so taking a look at the new pad or the old pads this one's definitely dead this one is bad as well um but there is some uneven wear but they're not too far off from each other the rotor's fine, got no issues there. I would, I wanna get this replaced. I wanna replace all four rotors. Um, but definitely have seen worse and had worse before. For the Bosch kit is it does come with new hardware, which is great, new pads, and of course, your lubricant. Yep, and here's the other side. So these pads are really good. I don't know why we have uneven braking pressure on the opposite side. These pads actually have a lot of life in them. And they're even, they still have a little tab right here. So, I don't know. Now we are taking the caliper off. We are taking the bracket off. We are gonna take these out right here, focus. Um, and then we're gonna re-grease these. And get it all put back together. We got new, the new hardware put in and all that fun stuff. Okay, so we got the new hardware in. We already took these out and added some grease so you clean them off take your grease apply it rub it around slap it back in and now it's super smooth this one was actually seized i couldn't get it off uh so i used the impact and i put this on my foot my foot was wedged in there and as i was spinning this with the impact at low speed i took a pry bar and i pushed up against it and that walked it out um, and then we went ahead and cleaned it and went ahead and put some glue on it and reassembled it all back together. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, I know I didn't really go into the reassembly part, uh, but if you've taken brake pads off, you know it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. So everything's been put back together. I've driven about 200 miles on the pad since then, and they've, they've been perfectly fine. So next week, we'll have a different video. But outside of that, I'll see you guys around next week. Stay safe, and have a great day.